Custom fields are at the core of Infinity's powerful flexibility. With custom fields, you will be able to shape your items exactly how you want and organize anything you want. You'll be able to add and edit custom fields on the right hand sidebar and once you add custom fields to your items, they will also appear on the item. But let's go a few steps back and see which custom fields you can find in Infinity and how you can add them to your items. Okay, now we're in a board where Jenny is going to organize the tasks for her team. We already have our first item created, now we just need to customize it. Once we click on the item, the right hand sidebar opens. As you can see, since we're only starting out, the sidebar only contains the name we gave to our first item. Let's click create a field and start building our item. First, we're going to add a checkbox to indicate when a task has been done. Let's call it done, click save and we have our first attribute. Once this task is finished, we can just click the checkbox directly on the item or on the sidebar to mark it done. Then we need to add members so we can assign the task to the right person. We're going to call it assignees. To assign the task, we just need to click add member and find the team member or team members we want to handle this task. So let's choose Jenny for this one. Next, let's add a label to this task. Labels will help you navigate your boards and folders much more easily and you can create more than one per item. For example, we can create one label to indicate task stage and another one to indicate task priority. Okay, let's create a label to track task stage. We'll call it stage and keep the label options we have here, although you can always change their names and add new ones if you need to. The labels we've created will apply to all the items in that folder and we just need to choose the stage for each item. Now let's add a checklist. The checklist is really useful for tasks that have smaller subtasks. In this case, we're going to use the checklist to remind Jenny which products she needs to order. So let's call it checklist and add oranges, bananas, buns and detergent. We can also add a long text custom field if we need to add some instructions or comments to the task. And finally, let's add a due date so Jenny knows when she needs to finish this task. For that, we're going to add date custom field and call it due date. Now let's find the attribute we created on the sidebar and choose the date. As you can see, all the attributes you add will appear on the item, but you can use customize to hide the ones you don't need to see or change their order. We've shaped our items so they make sense for the task in Jenny's store, but there are many more custom fields such as number, attachments, links, email and phone that you can add to your items. It's important to note that once you create a custom field on one item, they will appear across all the items in one folder. And if you create another folder, you will notice the same custom fields available for quick reuse on the sidebar. In essence, custom fields will help you shape your items exactly how you want, but they will also be extremely useful for when you want to sort and filter your items and navigate your board more easily.